I remember when we were strong. Back in the days before King Tenebre and his royal guard, and the people of Amosran took up their own arms for fun and profit. Before all that, here was just us, the Viridian Outriders. We kept the roads and trails safe and secure, with homes and forts scattered about and locales civilized and not. Time passed, and we have been replaced. And yet, I hear the rumblings and murmurs of the roads being less safe than they had been. Monsters sniffing around in smaller towns and magic acting oddly. Who knows? Maybe we'll be needed again. Hello and welcome back to Another Path. My name is Chase, and I remain your GM. Today, the Outriders take some time for themselves, go shopping, and see what there is to do in and near the city. Thank you to our backers, Connor, Sand, and Veronica, for their support. If you like what you hear, consider donating to us at patreon.com slash ghostlightmedia, and maybe try checking out some of the other shows on the network. But with that, sit back, relax, and enjoy your trip down another path. I have a story I'd like to tell you all. One of the wildest things to happen at the Institute. The and Institute. You know, it's, the Institute. It, you know it's wild when my manager of eight years, he's he's been there for eight years, and this is something that's never in, he's encountered. Ooh, do tell. Do tell. Someone snuck a monkey into the building? <laughs> I have several questions. The first is, what? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Come again for Big Fudge? <gasps> Someone, a guest snuck a monkey into the building early and we didn't discover it how little, large how okay a little one a little monkey uh-huh someone noticed it at like a, a, another team member noticed it at like 3 45 4 o'clock uh and sent a picture to my like senior director and was like hey this is it they're in the kids area can someone go take a look? <laughs> so, know, oh no. My manager who was on duty that day. Duty. And someone from the like animal care team and security people all go up to the kids zone. I wasn't up there, but uh -huh. I I uh, I kind of got some word great, of like great. This is what's happening. She said it was a service animal. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, right, right. Tight, Which, tight, tight. Yep. That's not a thing. Sure. Although, I, it, it, well, okay. Yeah. Hang on. Asterisk. Uh -huh. Did it have the vest? No. We did some research. Long uh -huh. story short, certain types of monkeys can be trained as, like, retrievers and things <laughs> like that. Yeah. But However, it, under mm -hmm. ADA guidelines, that's not a thing. Okay, so, and that's not a, a thing you can bring animal, into public space. You don't space. have to sneak it in. Exactly, right. Justin. Thank you. So, also, she said it was for epilepsy, which again, if that's a thing, our like accessibilities person has never heard of a thing like that before. How old was this person? Mom aged, older mom aged. Okay, she's like, okay. you don't understand. If I have an episode, he will eat a banana. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to see. My senior director comes down to the front desk where I'm working that day because she knows that this woman is on her way out and wants to field the inevitable complaint because she's a good boss. Per the perfect kill him with kindness kind of thing. But like, I don't know what this person looks like. I don't know what's happening. So I'm just doing my thing. You know, uh, where's the bathroom? It's right over there. Yeah, we close in like an hour. Oh, you lost your phone? Oh, it's not my lost and found. Can you describe it for me? Yeah, just fill this out and we'll call you if it comes up. Uh, by the way, is there a manager I can speak to? Oh no, it's them. The same family who came up leading with a lost cell phone. It was Monkey Lady. <gasps> and so amidst her tirade of, it's a service animal, I can take it wherever I want and no one can tell me otherwise. By the way, yeah, it's a black iPhone 6. <laughs> of all of the places where a monkey like sort of makes sense though... The Institute is one of those places. They, they don't have a whole lot of live animals. It's mostly just rat basketball. We have a surprising amount of live animals. Okay. 
I would not be surprised to see life. Like if I walked into the Institute and there was a display on animals or there were like snakes that day or there was like lizards you could hold or a llama to pet. Like I'd be like, OK, cool. Yeah, that makes we sense. We have double digits live animals. OK. Yeah. Like there's that there's that reason for not bringing, you know, like like un, unverified, you know, non official mm-hmm. service animals into the building. Also, all the children. Um. <laughs> this is my emotional support gator. I saw enough of the monkey. She had like a body sling that the monkey was in. And she I had a papoose a- for the monkey? Yeah. Uh-huh. A and- monkey bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so there- when I first heard about this report, someone was like, it looks like a monkey? And I saw just <laughs> enough of its little head to poke out of its little baby bjorn to go, that's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> And the monkey gave you a little wink. Oh, she threatened to sue fucking everyone in the building. It was wild. Was it Zabumafu? Excuse me, Zabumafu, Zabumafu is, a is a lemur. Thank you. Thank you. How dare you be uncultured? It here. was one of the most buck wild things. Delightful. The, the final rap is a couple days later. Yes. My manager, who f- uh, initially spoke to this woman, we're in our office. And one of the vice presidents comes in with a stuffed monkey in a NASA shirt and says, I heard you had a rough day. <laughs> is, is the monkey with sheep the goat? Um, no, the monkey is on his desk and it's goat the sheep, not to oh. really split hairs, but... <laughs> Oh my I've heard God. it both ways. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> That's um, that was my, How was your Martin Luther King Jr. day? <laughs> Have we considered that the monkey was, in uh, fact, a wild-shaped druid mm, mm, who just mm. didn't want to pay for admission to the Institute? If the monkey was a member of any other, any of another 360 science centers across the United States, it would have gotten free admission, <laughs> and it never checked in, so I couldn't ask. <laughs> Wait, 360? Yeah, bud. Wow, that's a lot. Uh-huh. I don't mean it like this is not an advertisement for <laughs> the institute. For the institute, we literally have never said its name. Yeah. Um. Even though it takes next to no research. I mean, any <laughs> the, I- institute Toledo is in the same vein. Mm, like any that's inst- true. institute Cleveland, institute Cincinnati. Gotcha. Like, it, it's a huge network. What was the one? Oh no, it's Institute um, uh, Indianapolis that does not play with you. That's guys. the one. It, institute Indianapolis is like we're our own fucking museum. See you, nerds. <laughs> we don't. We don't speak of them. Yeah. Mm. The dark institute, place. Uh, Justin Institute Minneapolis is. Yeah, but if you're going to be a druid and wild shape into somewhere, choose something less conspicuous. <laughs> like yeah, what? Just pretend to be an actual service dog. <laughs> Service dogs don't have thumbs. The thumbs are a big deal breaker for a lot of folk. Oh, man. Or just like a fly. Yeah. Justin, what would you polymorph into if you could? To be conspicuous or just in general? Nope. Like, <laughs> if you just got to be something for a day, uh huh. what would you pick? T-Rex. <laughs> you answer that so quickly. <laughs> because I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh Arabin, as you walk back into the meeting chamber of the collective Outriders of Taggart, you feel nauseous. You know that you have, for the moment at least, soothed whatever entity has taken what you now know to be the soul of your brother in the amulet itself. However... As you are seated next to your friends of the Outriders of the Crypt in Bering, it is plain to see that something is not quite right with Erebin. However, the, the meeting does continue to move forward as Grand Commander Wise stands up at her podium at the top of the meeting hall, situates herself, and looks down Good. Glad to see we have you here, Outrider. Excellent. On to a couple important things of business. I would like to call Luca Sutton to the altar, please. Luca stands up, 
looks directly at you, Cecil, and gives you a bit of a wink and moves to the center stage. Just for context for me, I guess, do I know what's about to... Is this he's getting promoted or is this we're about to talk about everything bad that has happened? You are getting a very promotional vibe off of this whole thing. Okay, You've cool. seen this happen once or twice. Um, okay, yeah. cool. Well, I just kind of... I make eye contact back with him and just give him a, a little smile and a nod, like reassuring, mm-hmm. like... I'm I, I'm I'm gonna back I'm backing you on this. We got you. We have to. Um, Nobody else wants it. Knight Captain Lucas Sutton moves to the altar in the center of the candlelit room and looks up, high up to the Grand Commander as she towers over him uh, from the podium that she sits on, and she stands and moves to the edge of it and grips the um, uh, the little trellis, for lack of a better word, that kind of walls her off and looks down. Knight Captain Lucas Sutton, you have been serving as Interim High Captain of the Crypt of Bering for quite some time. Yes? Yes. Yes, Grand Captain. Um, ever since the uh, the passing of the former... Uh, I have been dutifully taking that role. And she nods. Good. How are you feeling about a promotion? And at that, Luca gets that wincing smile of like, knew this one was coming. (laughs) Feeling I'm already taking the office. Might as well make it official. She nods. Good. Very good. In that case, unless there are any objections. Harper sneezes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We won't string you up for that one. Sorry, Luca. Hi, Captain. Night, Captain. Hi, Cap- <clears throat> Hoppa. It's okay. Yeah, sorry. Hearing none, Night Captain Lucas Sutton, I do promote you to the role of High Captain. Do you have a, uh, a contender for your replacement as Night Captain? Oh. He takes a moment, swallows, and looks back up. I do. I don't think she's going to take it, but I have an idea. Very well. Should you need assistance fulfilling that role, please do not hesitate to reach back out to our team here at the seat. As always, we are a cohesive unit, and we will move and act as one and assist you as we can. You may be seated. And there is a light smattering of applause as uh, High Captain Lucas Sutton takes his seat amongst all of you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and she nods again. Right then, continuing down the line, could I please have our newest outrider and the two that spoke for him at the altar once again, please? Of course, yes. <clears throat> Come along. Right Arabin. On. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Good. Look, that room sucks, and we all know it. Like, you're good. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a unique experience. I'll leave it at that. I only last like 15 seconds. I lost you there for a moment. Oddest thing. The three of you make your way to the altar, and the Grand Commander bears down over you and smiles. Now, the three of you uncovered something utterly unique. A new ruin has not been found in this part of the world in quite, quite some time. And actually, with that in mind, I would be remiss if I uh, kept Steward Elijah Bailey from this as well. Steward Bailey, could you please uh, come and join your companions down here at the altar? Elijah half expecting this, but clearly was very comfortable in his seat, uh, stands up. Get up here, Bailey. Come on. Come along. Uh, c- c- yep, come, 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 come along. Come, and he scrambles up and uh, kind of gives a salute and stands at attention. The four of you uncovered something utterly unique that we have never seen in this part of the world in quite some time. And 
due to our, the outriders being the ones that found it, it is our right, as by the laws of this nation, uh, to do the initial exploration of it. From what we have seen and heard, it is a sizable location, and it will take some time for us to adequately and, frankly, with your reports, safely mm -hmm. take a look at what's going on there. Yes. We are in the midst of putting out some feelers to try and find some experts in uh, non-standard architecture as well as uh, archaeology to try right. and figure anything out. However, we would be remiss if we did not reward the four of you for your contributions to the Outriders. I'm not telling any tales out of school here when I say that our institution has not been faring well these past few years. This discovery will do well to put the Outriders back in the public mind. And for that, we owe you all an incredible debt. Harper's so elated, like, we get a reward. I've never gotten a reward a day in my life here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been toiling away on arm shitty armor and rusted weapons for five years. This is my first reward. It's a five it's just a five year pin. I have one too. <laughs> Your armor's not that <laughs> shitty. Everyone else's armor is shitty. It was shitty until I came around and whipped everything up and scoured all the rust off. Um, the Grand Knight Captain, who was the one who was leading you around Arabin, approaches uh, the four of you, and there is a small pouch um, on a, uh, a plank of wood that uh, she is carrying and presents the plank to each uh, to the four of you for each of you to take. Thank you. And uh, inside there is a... The bag contains 500 gold. Ooh! That's a nice amount of coin. <clears throat> it's been that's a while like, since I've seen this much. Let's go! <laughs> that's, that's about what I make in a day at the scroll, so that's nice. I'm sorry, what? You do not do that well. Cecil, are Cecil. you rich? No, I don't do that well. I was hoping it was gonna... I wanted to sneak by Chase... I wanted to sneak by so we would have gold, whatever we wanted. I tried. I tried. <laughs> Rich boy holding out on us. I am not having the scroll clear like a couple million dollars a year. <laughs> like I'm doing some fuzzy math because I always picture a gold being about 10 bucks. So this is like about five grand of walking around money. That seems like the right amount to pay for magic. Yeah. That's yeah. Hey, yeah. That's a day out. at the steeping scrolls. <laughs> the tea is real good. It is really good. To jail. That toast mortem don't come cheap. <laughs> <laughs> or easy. It requires the highest of price. <laughs> <laughs> Only for one person. The most dangerous game. <laughs> the most dangerous tea. Th thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, we don't need to give a full... Oh, I was ready to give a full accounting. I suppose you have my writings. That's fine. We, okay. we, we have the writings. Um... Uh, uh, High Captain Luca was uh, kind enough to forward those uh, ahead of the crew. So Se Cecil uh, puts his notes away and looks a little disappointed, <laughs> but goes and sits. Very well. Again, thank you all for coming to this meeting. It will take a few days, of course, for us to work out all of the uh, fine-tuning, uh, what the exploration is going to look like. In the meantime, you are welcome to pull from the job board here in town if you are looking for something to fill your days and evenings. I believe uh, uh, two or three days in order to get everything sorted out, you believe? Luca nods. Yes, I I do. Uh, I We should be good going forward um, plan to leave, uh, not the day after tomorrow, but the day after that, if that's all right with everybody, we should be good to go then. So yeah, if you want to try and pick up a job while you're here in town, it does look like their board is a little better popular than ours. If you want to earn a little bit of extra scratch. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, of course you do have uh, dormitories here, or if you'd like to use your own money and stay somewhere else, you are of course welcome to do that as well. We are not judging. All right. right. Dismissed. And um, 
the Grand Captain knocks her uh, gavel against the stone and suddenly the candles extinguish and they are replaced with a more harsh magical light. The effect of the room to be looking to be made of wood and, you know, by an old campfire is gone in a moment. And it is just a room of very finely carved stone once again. It's a neat trick. I never get tired of it. No, it never gets old. The enchantments wear off a bit. It's got to get kept up. I was really looking forward to sharing our findings. I had a whole notebook and everything. I had a. I know, Cecil. I Classic had slides. Paper pusher. I had slides. <laughs> I had slides. I pack up my easel, <laughs> my poster boards. How do you carry all of that around? Magic. I know you were excited, Cecil. You had some real power behind those points. They were quite powerful, indeed. I spent much time on them. I was ready to... I was even in presentation mode. I was all ready to go. You were ready to excel. Word. <laughs> I hate this. Justin, <laughs> Justin, you want to get a hand on this ball? Uh, what haven't we done nope. yet? Uh, <laughs> come on, guys. We're a team. Put it together and put it into a book. You'd be a real publisher. <laughs> This is the worst bit we've ever done, and I'm perpetuating it. I know this. (laughs) I started it. I'm sorry. What would you three like to do? I'll check in with Katie real quick over the shell phone. Mm. Um, God, I needed to hear you say shell phone again. It'd been a a rip, but I was ready. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Shell phones. How do I? How do I do? Get the. Hey, Katie. uh, Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How'd it go? Good, 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 good. We just got out of the meeting. Um, nice, nice. How'd it go? Uh, it went well? Yeah. Um, Luca is officially high captain now. Araben's mm-hmm. officially an outrider. Congratulations, cool. Araben. Thank you. Congrats, Araben. Uh, uh, Katie says congratulations. I, I figure maybe we could like do something to celebrate tonight. What do you guys think? I think that sounds just about right. We do need to probably grab some things around town uh and oh uh, yeah i've got a list if we're going back down there we need some things that the outriders probably don't have i also think that well there is uh we have to go down to the bar and get you uh nice and sauced there Arabin, because that's tradition damn straight yes well who am i, I to look the other way of tradition jart <clears throat> what jart Remember from the other night? Sure. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Arabin does not remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, we, right. We, uh, anyway, we take him to Outrider Bar that Chase has already come up with a pun with. I'm setting you up, Chase. That was a mistake to do. Um, yes. Oh no, no, never mind. I got it. Uh, you you go on down to the end rider. Fuck no. <laughs> uh, I'm mad about it. All right, we go we go to the end rider and with two ends. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, no, two it, ends. It, it's an inn. It's this is where you have rooms. And we set Arabin down at the bar and uh, order. Luke the drinks. is joining us too, right? Oh, yeah, he just got promoted, like, so we got to yeah, get like him drinks all too. all the way down. We set get two or three all set up, and we are. Uh, strictly drinking door to the floors. Are you letting Katie drink? Yes. Yay! Oh. Um, Harper pulls out a little bit of uh, halfling leaf. <laughs> you can say kush. <laughs> some, uh, some, some gnomish kush. <laughs> some angel wing. Harper got that good, good. Oh, I smoke it off of Ignis. <laughs> Ignis is a bong. Yeah, Chase, can I turn my tortoise into a bong? (laughs) No. Does Ignis even fit in through the door? (laughs) He's size medium. He can do it. We can ride the tortoise (laughs) around the bar. Hell yes, let's go. (laughs) I just wanted to know what uh, Harper's like hand-carved bong looked like. I'm riding it. It comes with us on trips. (laughs) His name is Ignis. (laughs) And he also sends you on trips. (laughs) Harper gets wicked (laughs) cross-faded. Uh, before any of this gets started, Arabin goes and puts the amulet in his room. Mm. He does not Absolutely. wear it when he drinks. I am thankful, but also a little sad. I wanted to see that. 
I don't know that we do, bud. So the uh, three of you plus a handful of your Outrider companions and Katie uh, go to the bar and, you know, pony uh, pony them up and uh, let's go ahead and, and make some constitution saving throws. Now, now Chase, mm-hmm. are we honoring the uh, ages old tradition of being resistant to poison Meaning you roll advantage on alcohol-related constitution saves? Yes. Because Harper's half-dwarf. Mm. <laughs> Harper, I don't know if I've actually said that on mic. My mom is a dwarf, when and my dad's a halfling. When a dwarf and a halfling love each other very much, they make <laughs> you, get a Harper. The, you get the stout halfling uh, subrace. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I have advantage on uh, constitution saves against poison. Excellent. Wow. Rolled like trash. Yay! Uh, that's a nine total for Harper. Oh, insufficient. I rolled okay. an 18. Okay. Arabin's all right. 17 for 17. Cecil. Cecil oh, is keeping no. an eye on Katie and Absolutely. is, is uh, leaving Katie, Harper to, to I Arabin. I have rolled for Katie and Luca. Oh, uh, good. Katie, Katie rolled a 15, doing just fine. Luca nat 20 Oh my god, I'm the only one getting sloppy. <laughs> Luca, like with the nat 20, Luca walks in once everyone's there, uh, with Katie being the last one to show up. He's like, perfect, whole team's here. First round's on me. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hot captain. Woo! Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I use my alchemy jug to create four gallons of free beer. <laughs> Um, is the bar okay with that yeah the bartender looks i don't get i don't get hey i'm an outrider yeah i know so what are you gonna do about it very little hell yeah i'm gonna look at you sternly you want a pint it's on me i mean yeah hell yeah (laughs) glug 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 this a dragonborn bartender leans over and just knocks it back Oh man! Um, now, all right, is is, is mm-hmm. created beer is canonically like the quality of coarse light, right? I Please, would... I have. I just went over my parentage. You think I'm gonna make shitty beer? <laughs> <laughs> it is minimally okay. So, like you know how it's it's on the cheap beer side, but it's the good cheap beer. We're talking Yingling. We're talking Yingling. Miller High Life. Okay. Like mm-hmm. the champagne like, of beers. We're talking like. You know, honestly, it's probably like a, it's like a, it's like a, probably more of akin to like a Guinness. Mm. Mm. That feels right for Harper. Mm -hmm. So it is about like nine o'clock at night and Harper is already (laughs) just just in her cups. How's everybody else doing? Let's go! Ignis trying to buck me off. It's not that kind of bar. Oh, I guess it is now. What's Ignis's uh, athletics? Oh shit! Uh, Ignis's athletics is a. You did give him an order. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Plus four. Plus four. Uh, okay, go ahead. I have rolled on my end. Go ahead and roll an athletics check for Harper. That's gonna be a five. You are on your ass on the ground. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, Arabin, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just knocking back beer after beer. Mm-hmm. I'm letting Absolute. loose. I'm trying to get on the same level as Harper. Excellent. Oh, shit. Cecil, what are you doing? I'm making sure that Katie understands the uh, not mixing your drinks and not mixing your liquors and drinking, like, how to properly drink and then maintain with water. And mm-hmm. so, you know... I'm not. You're what? not just going to drink. You're going to be able to survive the morning. What are you starting her off on? Because I imagine this is not her first drink ever. Oh you no! Famously serve hot toddies. Yes. But <laughs> this is probably her first time drinking with the crew. Yes, with the crew at a bar. Um, we are starting with. This is a big decision. It is. That's why I asked you. While Cecil's giving that safety talk to her, I just sort of like look over at her and roll my eyes. She winks. Whiskey. Whiskey. We start with whiskey. We're starting with the Browns. The two of you knock a shot together. She knocks it back. And as she rolled a 15 on her save. So I'm going to say that she's able to like mostly keep a straight face through the burn. There you go. 
Yep, there it is. Whoo! Ooh! Ooh! That's got a whoo! Whoo! It's got a little burn on it. <laughs> yes, now wait until we try the fireball version. Ooh. Exactly. Right? All right. Hits the whole room, huh? Depends how you drink it. <laughs> that was real slick, Chase. I like that a lot. Thank you. I liked that a lot. <laughs> All right. Constitution saving throws again. Oh, for everyone? Yes. Ah, oh, damn it. The night is going on. Okay. Unless anybody's bowing out. Okay. that's That one's a lot better. 19. Okay. You're maintaining. 18. You're good. That was a 12. 12 is not going to cut it. At this point, it's like 11 o'clock, and things have taken a turn. Like I said, Harper, you are maintaining, maybe even sobering up just a little bit at this point. Cecil, you are fine. Arabin, you're kind of feeling it. And uh, <laughs> so are Katie and Luca. Yes. Um, good, good, good. They're both well within their cups at this point. You know, I, uh, I, don't, I don't usually do this. It's, we're having a good time, Arabin. It's cause for celebration. We have so few reasons to celebrate these days as an organization. We got to take every single one we can get. Absolutely. Uh, I, I'm like, yeah, 100% for, for sure. Um, Harper's like drunkenly stumbling through her words and is setting up um, some like glasses on the bar that are like like rearranging some that are like full of difference at different like uh, uh, like uh, amounts like mm -hmm. ones like barely full ones like quarter way full um, and actually and like still very deftly like whips out a, a, a tinker tool ting 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 uh, chimes on all of them I'm gonna use magical tinkering on all four of them to create a song <laughs> delightful <laughs> and then I'm gonna get everyone dancing. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Uh, Using every bit of the artificer. <laughs> I need you to roll me a persuasion check at advantage. Okay. Uh, that will be a 10. Okay. I have a flat charisma. You get some motion. Like, it's late enough. People are, are, are feeling it. At this point, the bartender, that poor dragonborn, has just kind of given up. <laughs> He's helping people that are, like, coming into the bar. Your party, he has just kind of left you to your own devices. Bailey is behind and is effectively acting as a second bartender. <laughs> what a square. <laughs> Someone's got to. Do you want to get back here? Uh, bitch, I might. Bet you won't. This place wouldn't survive the night. You'd have to be able to get up to the bar first. Oh, now, Bailey, them's fighting words. <laughs> fight, hey, fight, you know what's, fight, fight. Hey, you know what's at perfect height for me? The one place above all you do not want to be hit. I've been wearing a cup for the past seven years. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I got into the wrong fight once. <laughs> This is why you lose chess. No, this is why I'm good at chess. I plan ahead. I know the fights that I get in, Styles. I'm fucking watching you, <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> uh, Arabin, what are you? What are you doing in your drunken reverie? So Harper was playing music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like I've I've basically enchanted the glasses to like play a small song. Then I got one choice. Arabin throws it back. <laughs> <laughs> This episode is unhinged. <laughs> he dance. He dance. Oh, but he he's not good at dancing. I was just about to ask, like, roll, roll me a dance check, but I will let you decide what that roll is. Yes. Uh, I chose to roll it as a deception check to make people think he's good at dancing, but it's I got a two thing, on the yeah. dice, so that's only an eight. <laughs> oh. Oh. It is not great. But you can tell he's having a good time. He commits mm -hmm. so hard. Harper, you are getting into a fight with uh, with Bailey. I'm going to kick Bailey's whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, probably how the night winds down for Harper is like she truly tries to get into a fight with Bailey, mm -hmm. but can't. And Luca has to like 
just like with just one hand very gently just pulls her away and mm-hmm. she just falls asleep in a booth somewhere Aww. absolutely <laughs> is that how you want harper's night to end i was gonna have people do one more check oh sure i'll th- we can we can save me fighting bailey for the end well, 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 <laughs> well let, 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 let's see how it goes everybody go ahead and give me one more uh it is a high save everybody's been drinking all night we're looking at an 18 to pass this one Crushed it. 24. 24. Or 23, but... Yeah. Yeah. Nine. 19. <laughs> okay. This guy's oh, going let's... to jail. <laughs> Got a roll for, for, for Katie and Luca. Both fail. Oh. Cecil, you don't know what happened. You turn your back on Katie for a second. And Kate, then... Katie, come on. We're going to learn how to play beer pong. What, what, have, you, what, what have you done? I had a few, and now I don't feel so good. Yes. <laughs> Katie? Mm, it's so spinny. Mm-hmm. K- Katie is me in college. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, um, you should sit. I thought I was. No, okay. it, no you're no. standing, actually. Oh, that no. is, you are on top of your stool. Uh-huh. You should get down now, yes? Jump. How oh, else am on. I going to see everything? You're told. You're fine. You can see oh. it from the ground just as good. Why don't you come down oh. and find out? Oh, okay. I need to roll uh, dexterity. No. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey, Cecil, I need to roll dexterity check real no. quick for me. <laughs> Katie, no. Straight roll. 16. <sighs> uh, you catch Katie as she kind of stumbles back down. I think I should probably stop tonight. That sounds like a great idea. Come along. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. going to get you some water and a bucket. Mm. Oh, what what the bucket for? One's for drinking, one's for not. Oh. <laughs> I should go to my room. Mm-hmm. This was fun. <clears throat> I've I've seen some things, done some things. No kid should do. Hell yeah. So it's not often I get to have fun. I'm glad you had fun, Arabin. You're the best. You're a good guy. You know that? You're scary, but you're a good guy. I'd like to believe that. Yeah, I think so. And I lumber <laughs> off. Jart! Jart! <laughs> Woo! While he's drunk, he remembers. Yes! <laughs> No, it's a sense memory. The sense is drunk. <laughs> yeah, there was a pool table. We did think about it. I also think that uh, as Cecil has gotten more and more into their cups, they do start mimicking all the voices around them more, and it just kind of comes out. It kind of stops to take care of Katie, but the rest of it is definitely uh, and uh, being Luca to Luca, mm-hmm. and that's just great. I I really hate it when you do that, though. Isn't it just the best? I really, oh my, you're more sober than me right now, which makes it worse. (sighs) All right, I'm going to bed. (laughs) All right, Outriders, good night. Good night, Captain. Behave, and I'll, we roll out, not tomorrow or the day after, but the day after that. Day after the day after. As he as he's about to walk out the door, Cecil mm-hmm. lets out um the uh, the voice of the uh the the Grand Knight Captain just comes out of his mouth. Hi, Captain Lucas Sutton. Attention! And I need you to roll a deception check for me, please. Oh, absolutely. So, so shitty. Hundred <laughs> percent. Absolutely. Tight, 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 tight. Twenty four. Oh, Luca nearly falls over like. Pulling himself up, looks around, realizes it, flips you off, and then goes to bed. (laughs) Good night. (sighs) Good night, Cecil. (laughs) Come along, Katie. Let's get you to a bed. Uh, Katie has fully fallen asleep. This is your bed. This is your bed. Okay, let's go. Come along. Just kind of throw her arm around me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pop Katie in her room. Leave plenty of water and a bucket, per your promise. Once for Uh, drinking, once for not. What do you do with the rest of your night being not sober, but not drunk? 
Cecil takes the time to walk around uh, the city a little bit because um, mm-hmm. that's not something they get to do often and yeah. is going to just find a nice little secluded place uh, with a book outside and kind of uh, sleep under the stars probably. Uh, oh, okay. Here, the city around. There's probably, you know, like the behind back of the outpost or something. There, there's probably some outdoor stuff. Just finds a yeah. finds a bench or a tree or something, and um, just like listening to the sounds of the city. It's not something you get back home. You're able to easily find a park. You've been here enough. You know the place where you know that the guards will not hassle somebody, particularly somebody wearing the outrider sash. Yeah. Um, and you make yourself a comfortable place to stay the night. Yep. Harper, what are you doing? Bailey, you and I got some unsettled business. I fall asleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you, you fall asleep in a booth and yeah. uh, sleep it off. Arabin has already gone to bed. Ignis uh, loafs under the table. Uh-huh. Adorable. And the night passes peacefully. Arabin and Harper. Both of you had some rough rolls the previous night. I had one of three. Ooh, yeah. So I am going to have both of you roll for hangover. Uh, This is going to be a straight con saving throw. Ten. And Arabin, you're going to be making yours a disadvantage because your rolls got very bad. Ten exactly. Mm -hmm. I rolled a three both times. Oh. oh man! Get rid of those dice. I, this is a different dice. <laughs> Arabin, you have a point of exhaustion. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Luca greets you all in the main room of the Inn Rider the following morning, looking f- and acting phenomenally. Dude can hold his liquor. My dude. Oh, Captain, my Captain. There it is. Katie did not fare nearly as well. I whip up for everybody the uh, talk family hangover cure. Mm-hmm. The some vile fucking potion. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got like, you know, wheat grass, hot sauce, egg whites. Mm-hmm. Like it is it is truly vile, but it helps. Allegedly. <laughs> Cecil is back at the uh, crack of dawn and is already making tea downstairs for everyone. Arabin, how do you end up down there? Uh, I carefully climb down the stairs. Good morning. Oh, oof. Hair of the dog? What? Hair of the dog. What dog? The, you. <laughs> Never mind. We've got uh, talk over there. It's got some hangover cure. And I've got some tea. And maybe one of those things will help you. I'll try anything. Hoppa. All right. Yep. Give me one moment. I just gotta let this. Uh, got to let this stew a little bit. It's not supposed. Okay. You know what? Never mind. If it works, it works. Let me go find Katie. Katie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you found the bucket. I did. Great. Oh. You want to try standing up? No. Okay, you've got your bucket? Yep. Welcome to the city. Breakfast is downstairs. Okay. Okay. Katie is effectively out of commission for today. (laughs) That sounds right. Uh, But the three of you find yourselves uh, in the tavern, uh, now in the cold light of day. Oh. Arabin, there is a very refreshing breeze coming in from outside that is doing a decent job of clearing out the whiskey smell. Mm. And it does feel pretty nice. Are you going to be drinking Harper's Concoction? Yes. Go ahead and make that constitution saving throw again. Still at disadvantage, but you can make it again. That is a 14. Okay. That clears it up. Nice. Honestly, Dang. that's the best we could ask for with this brew. This is the floor to the door. <laughs> <laughs> the day is uh, open to you. There is uh, plenty of shopping to do. There is also uh, the job notice board, which, having been left overnight, has actually been picked over by some of the more industrious members uh, that you've traveled with. Uh, but there's a couple still hanging up there. Or you can go shopping. I have a very important task that I must immediately take care of. Mm-hmm. Do you want the shell phone? 
I'm just going to be standing in line. It'll be all oh. right. Oh. I have okay. I have to go get my notary renewed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I grab Luca and drag him with me. He's got a sign. <sighs> yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's so good. All right, the two of you are, are heading down to the functionary building. Uh, I like I like that. Mm-hmm. Functionary building, that's good. Mm-hmm. It's for functions. <laughs> Harper, what are you doing? I would love to go shopping. I mm-hmm. got... I got more money than I've ever had at one point in my life. Like, I got stuff I want to buy. I want stuff. Fair enough. Give me stuff. And Arabin, what are you doing? Uh, He's going to make his way towards the help wanted board just to see what's going on. But sure, as he passes a shop, a staff that's in the window sort of catches his eye. So he goes into that shop. Okay. Um, what, what staff is this? Uh, it, he's, it's this sort of goldish color, sort of bone looking. Uh, it's a staff and it's in the shape of a snake. Okay. Oh. This is the staff of the python. All right. Hold on. I'm, okay. Spooky. And something about uh- it is calling to him. Uh oh. And he feels okay. like he might just be in his Jafar era. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I mean, very clearly. So he sort of goes up, not really paying attention to the store clerk, just walks past and just sort of touches the staff. It is warm to your touch. Hmm. Interesting. He takes the staff from the window mm-hmm. and sort of just starts waving it around, taps it on the floor a couple times. How much is this? Mm, staff of the Python. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that'll be uh, two fifty if you got it. Yeah, excellent. Great, pleasure doing business with you. And the uh, clerk takes their gold, and uh, you have the staff of the Python. And right now, it's just a walking stick because he doesn't know what it does. Just mm-hmm. something about it feels <laughs> right. Damn it, Justin. Love it, Harper. What are you doing? Uh, I'm also going shopping. Yes. Where are you shopping? I want to... I'm looking for a couple of magical things. Mm-hmm. Um, I am also want to swing by an armorer. Specifically, maybe a junkier armorer. Okay. Like, not the highest quality. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find a breastplate that is in bad condition so I can get a discount on it and repair it myself later. That's kind of what I have in mind. Okay. Because it's, it's 400 gold for a breastplate, and that's big money. Yeah. That's a lot of... That, that, that is some, some scratch there. So I'm, I'm looking for that. And then I also kind of just want to... Um, and, and this is not really a, a, an item in the game, Chase, but I would love just to drop some money on sundry junk mm-hmm. that I can throw into Ignis and then have sundry junk where I can... If I want to make like experiments or modifications or attempt stuff to build and tinker with, I just have a grab bag of supplies. No, absolutely. Harper's a picker. I'm a scrapper. Well, <laughs> oh, no, and it's like this is. I actually... wrote down scrapping without the G and an uh, apostrophe instead. <laughs> Good. No, and that is absolutely something that uh, you can do. That is easy enough to find uh, for like just sundry scrap. Go ahead and drop like twenty gold. Awesome. We'll say that's got you set up for a little while there and, you know, for uh, like either several small projects or a decently sized one. Sounds good. As for the breastplate, that is going to take a little bit more looking. Sure. You are finding the the grungiest, not second hand, but like seventh hand armor. Yeah. So for that, I am going to have you roll an investigation check. I'm good at that this time around. Shock of shocks. That's going to be a dirty 20. Yeah, with a dirty 20, you are able to find a... It is completely unwearable. The straps are busted. It has, like, these nasty cracks going through. There is rust eating through at one part of it. But that's a breastplate. And not only a a breastplate, but that is a halfling lady size breastplate like it is the perfect size which is really hard to find Amazing. for you but it's all busted as shit 
amazing. You can get that at half price, 200. 200 sold. And then, yeah, I'll spend some time repairing that later. Yeah, that is going um, to take a couple, like, multiple checks, but I'll, oh, yeah. that, that'll that work. I'm down to play. But I love the tin can. <laughs> it will functionally not change my AC. It will just remove my disadvantage on stealth checks. Thank mm. God. Vital. Um, Vi- so I'll just be a little less of a yeah. jangly tin can. Less jangly and more stout? Yeah. I just, I really like the trash talking tin can. The trash can, if you will. <laughs> Last night I was the trashed can. Oh. Um, uh, there are two minor magical items I want to buy. I would like to purchase a drift globe, mm-hmm. um, which is essentially just a little ball. I can cast, it'll cast a light spell and it will follow me around. Okay. Uh, I can also cast daylight once per day. And then a Wand of Pyrotechnics, which is essentially just a flare gun. Okay. Um, it mm-hmm. shoots a like a blast of light and a, an audible sound. Essentially, truly just a flare. Okay. Um, they are 165 gold, respectively. Yeah, you can find those. Cool. Easy enough. There is... There's not a lot of, like, magic magic shops in the seat. While magic is available, it is frequently not, like, cordoned off, but, like... You, clearly, you've got to have a little bit of scratch to get something of good quality. However, uh, it's the same shop that uh, Arabin went to, where uh, not too far off the Outrider base, you have uh, somebody who knows what the sash means and mm-hmm. very clearly has some respect for it. Nice. Last thing, just some new clothes. Just okay. like update the fit. And like not like a work outfit or an out riding outfit, but like Harper just gets like just like a nice just like some nice clothes. Just like some cute. Yeah, just something cute. I was like something catches my eye. I'm like, ooh, that's cute, I must have it. Okay, do you, uh, do, you, do you, uh, <laughs> what describe the fit? I think it's a little inspired by conversation with a uh, friend of the show, Maddie. I think it's like a nice, like kind of slightly puffier sleeved uh like top with a like kind of vest over top. Uh, some like layered like long skirts, uh, and just like some like nice soft like uh, like soft sole soft sole like leather shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, absolutely. And I look and I look cute. Oh yeah. There's a little bit of like uh like like metal adornment on like the like the like the collar and the belt and things like that. Go ahead and drop ten gold on that. Yeah. You can put a cute outfit in the inventory. I think a set of fine clothes exists as an item. Oh, there you go. Yeah, clothes, comma, fine. <laughs> Cecil. Yeah, so I need to do shopping too, but I also need to do the notary things. The notary bit isn't much. It takes a good chunk of your day. Yeah, it takes a good chunk of the day, and I make Luca pay for everything, and he has to sign for everything, and I make this as big a pain in the ass as possible for him. Um, you There is a single moment where a uh, beleaguered-looking halfling woman probably twice Harper's age, looks at your paperwork, looks up at the two of you, is like, this is very out of date. You haven't been using this over the past couple of years, have you? Absolutely not. I would never disrespect the stamp like that. Deception check. <laughs> with advantage, With advantage, because uh, Luca is helping. I just imagine the DMV from Zootopia. Mm. 21. <sighs> fine. Fine. Right. Ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk. All right, and wax. And she, like, affixes a uh, an updated uh, waxed ribbon and then presses her hand on it, mumbles something under her breath, and it glows. Right, you're set up for another five years. Please do us a favor and don't let it expire like that again. Absolutely not. You hear that, Luca? It shouldn't expire again. No, it it will expire, Cecil. You need to get up here. Sooner. Cecil's out the door. <laughs> oh, ma'am, thank you. Uh, yeah, and she waves him off. And what shopping do you need to get done? I need Mr. to find Styles? two things. One is uh, a real thing, and then one is a joke thing. Uh, so let's do the joke thing first. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I I got. Yeah, you can do it, but I'm not happy about it. Uh, I would like to, with my newfound... He sent it to me over Discord. That's why I have this tone right now. Okay. 
I would like to find this item and get as much of it as I can. You know, I'll probably uh-huh. drop, I don't know, 40 or 50 gold and see how much I, uh, of this very special blue wax I can get mm-hmm. to, to be used for notary work. Uh-huh. Uh, and maybe some, some subterfuge if necessary. Yeah. So do you want to read this or do you want me to? Go ahead, man. I think you found this initially as a joke, and I'm doing yeah, it. I'm committing I, okay. to this bit. Uh, so it is uh, the blue wax, a special wax that takes shape and color of any seal that is desired and is related to the name signed in a letter. You can make any document seem like it was written by a notable figure, member of a uh, nobility organization by sealing it with this wax. The illusion lasts up to one hour after the seal is broken or the oh. creature determines that the uh, that it isn't real with a successful investigation check against your spell save DC. Um, the picture of the wax looks um, notably like a like a blue check mark from a bird website that <laughs> oh uh, some of us God. use. God this, damn it. This showed up in my Twitter mentions right around the time that uh, the stupid billionaire took over the bird website. It's musk wax. Look, that musk wax. That may be a joke item, but that sounds hella useful. Oh, it, it's yeah. gonna be hella look, look, I'm gonna use every bit of the notary. This is at the outpost for the outriders. Um you can get a bottle of it for 40. It has five uses. Perfect. Five uses. 40 gold. That's the best 40 gold anyone's ever spent. Uh Uh-huh. And your other purchase? Up at the King's Garden, probably where there's a little bit nicer places uh, while we're up there. Um, I do um, go to uh, the wand shop. Mm, Yes. The wand of the war mage. Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, so I'm looking for the wand of the war mage plus one. Now that is four hundred, so that is most of what you've got. Are you Look, good with that? It, worth it. Done. Yep, absolutely. For something that potent, the guy running it does need to go and get his manager to unlock uh, the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got a it's got a tamper proof seal on it. It's in a very fine glass cabinet. This uh, doddering old dwarf comes out and sizes you up. Mm. Yes, all right, fine. Um, now, how's the grip on this? I can alter it slightly, so it's got the uh, got the ergonomic flick that you're gonna want for it. That would be great. It needs to be quite uh, swishy uh, and of flick course. well. Um, does it come in black? I, I I can get a bit of a lacquer on there for you if you'd like. It's an extra five gold for the lacquer. Done. Thank you very Excellent. much. Excellent. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me get your and he like bodily like grabs your hand and like pulls it down to his level and he puts it the the wand in your hand makes a couple of like outline like uh, like charcoal marks on there and then takes out like a magic dremel and just like (laughs) (laughs) carves into the wand yes uh puts it back in your hand it feels so much better this is well done sir you know your craft Someone must. And he gives uh, the other person that's been helping you out all day a look like, oh, there's something going on here. But he uh, takes the wand back and about an hour later, you have a, a a jet black plus one wand of the war mage. Perfect. Nice. While I'm out, I also uh, I also would like to get a new piece of clothing. Go to uh, a nicer suit store. Mm-hmm. And uh, walk in with you know the t- the tweed elbow patches, and uh, walk out with a knee length, sleek black leather trench coat. Why am I the only one missing out on the drip? You can get the drip. <laughs> We're playing Justin, in the space. You, get your Arabin, drip, Arabin, Do you need money for drip? I got money. I just got no <laughs> style. Take Katie with you. I'm sure she can like. Yeah, point she you in would the right point direction. you out. Yes, Arabin buys a cape and some sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many questions. What color is the cape? How long is the cape? Does it go around your neck or does it attach to your clothes? The cape is red. Yeah, good. it's a yep. around the yep. neck cape. Red. It's like mm-hmm. a maroon red. Cool, 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 sure. cool, cool. Does it have a collar that pops up, turns you into a vampire? No. No collar. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's too much. That's it's too a classic cape. Okay. 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 Is it a half cape or full cape? It's a full cape. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And sunglasses. Tell me on a take me on a right. on, on a mental journey for these sunglasses. Joe Jeez. Biden aviators. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen here. Come on, man. Incredible. Come on, man. I hate to prolong this. I've if if you'll allow it, Chase. I have one more batch of things to buy. All regular stuff. I want to outfit Katie a little bit. Okay. I want to buy her a pair of daggers, a short sword, and some studded leather armor. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to pick myself up a new uh, a backup set of Smith's tools. Mm-hmm. All base prices. It's seventy nine gold. Yeah. Done. Cool. So I, I throw a a um a spare set of tools into the into the Ignis chassis, and then uh, yeah I buy some some actually pretty decent weapons and a set of armor for uh Katie. I'm this company's outfitter. Like I got to make sure my people are I got the gear they need. Uh, and you all reconvene back at the Outrider Outpost, and at this point you have a choice to make, and this choice is going to directly impact what. We are doing next time we play. Um, Do you want to take the next couple of days to just kind of relax and have a chill time and then head back home? Or do you want to try and pick up a little bit of extra work while you're here? I want to pick up extra work specifically to get Katie's feet wet. Okay. That's legit. That's I'm I support this decision. Yeah. So I'd like some time periodically to work on the breastplate, but like that can happen for sure. Mm -hmm. A couple hours in the evening here and there. Like I'm down to, yeah, I'd be down. I mean, like Seeker Meredith did the same thing for me when I first joined up with the Outriders, you know, some bit jobs to kind of get me used to field work. Like I'm, I'm all in, help me out a lot. I think Mm -hmm. he'd be good for her. And if we're here in the seat like this, you know, she's only going to get so many chances. So let's, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Plus, it'll help break the armor in. The leather's really stiff in the beginning. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, yes. We can't We can't all be stiff all the time. Mm-hmm. Nah. I'm so. saying this as I'm throwing stuff over my shoulder into Ignis that is just random fucking scrap metal and broken items and rope. and Delightful. <laughs> absolute shit. Incredible. Trash okay. tortoise. Um, so the three of you plus Katie approach the job board. It's been a day about almost exactly since you uh, got into town. So the board has been picked over a bit, but there are still two left up there for you to choose from. There is a guard duty at a local professor's house. Uh, Apparently there is a credible threat against his life. Uh, And he is looking to hire some outriders as guards overnight at his location. Um, There's also been something weird going on at a local, uh, it looks like somebody's trying to build something akin to like an amusement park, like a place for like an outdoor place for people to like go and hang out. Um, But some stuff has been going (laughs) missing overnight and stuff's moving around. People are saying it's haunted. They don't know. So somebody wants some investigation done there. Yeah, we're gonna go. Ch- okay, we're gonna go so... check out the haunted roller coaster. I would like to go to haunted <laughs> Cedar Point. Thank you. Okay, Chase, you realize what you've done, yeah. right? You were like, here's the regular D and D quest, uh-huh. and here's the fucking AP quest. <laughs> Which one do you guys yeah, want to protect- do? The protection quest seemed more pressing, but then you brought up haunted roller coaster. <laughs> no, fuck this fucking you egghead. You dangled a Scooby Doo mystery in front of us and expected us. And to you not know what? That it. professor is probably like somebody Cecil knows, and maybe he's even like a transmutation <sighs> specialist, and like that could like directly help us with this plot. But no, let's go be the Scooby Gang. We're all here. Let's go. Let's grow. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I'm please, Velma. Please. please, we've been over this. It's the Iggy Gang. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. <laughs> Riggy Ring. Matthew Riggy Lillard, the line is open. Something. You are welcome. You're so welcome, Matthew Lillard. So the three of you, plus Katie, plus Iggy, you pull the job down to take a look at it and read that uh, the location. You are heading out uh, just outside the city to Callaghan Cat's Corral. No. We've made a poor choice. As the sun begins to set, you head out to the corral. And we'll go ahead and stop there for this evening. Perfect. Fucking criminal. Oh, let's go. I'm so excited. 
here's this perfectly reasonable and mundane job, and then here's some batshit <laughs> Chase Greenlee <laughs> quest. Thank you for joining us here on Another Path. You can find our website and merch store at anotherpathpodcast.com, on Twitter at anotherpathpod, and our network at ghostlightmedia.net. You can support our efforts by donating at patreon.com slash ghostlightmedia or by giving us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcatcher will let you. You can also find me on Twitter at TQ Loudly, Griffin at Griffcold, and Ryan at Ryan Roll 20 You can find Justin on TikTok at just Justin Michael and myself at TQ Loudly. We'll be back in two weeks with a new episode. And until then, remember to keep all of your important documents up to date. This has been a Ghost Light Media production.